Right, inverse normal. This is where we are working backwards. We know the probability and we want to work out the value of z that gives us that probability. So if we know phi of z, we can work out z. We need the table to do this. Let's have a look at an example. So for example, phi of z equals 0.5836. So we need to find 0.5836 on the table. We start by finding the largest number that is less than 0.5836 and that's just there, the 0.5832 and we work out how much would need to be added onto that so we'll need another 4 to make it up to the 36 at the end so look across and we've got um, 0.21 from those two there that make the 0.5832 the bit that we need to add on is 4 so we add another 1 at the end there let's do another one so this time 5z is 0.6747. We're looking for the largest number that is still less than 6747. And that's just there at 6736. Now to get that up to 6747, we would need to add on 11. So first of all, we've got that 0.4 and the 5 to make that first part. And we need to add on 11 to make the final part. So we need that 3 that gives us the 11 there. Okay, let's look at some more examples. So the probability that z is less than a is 0.9832. In each of these examples we're going to find out what that value of a is that gives us that. So have a look at your table, that's just a quick read off um, to find the 0.9832 and we get a is 2.12. Now to get, make the last part, we could actually add on anything that comes under the columns of 4, 5 and 6. They would all give us the answer that we need of adding on enough to make 9, 8, 3, 2. Just have a look at your table while I'm doing this and you can follow along too. So we would have to choose the middle value of those to add on our last digit. Just look it up on the table so you can see what I'm talking about. So 2.12 gives us 0 0.9830, but any of the digits 4, 5 and 6 will add an extra 2 for us. So we pick the middle one of those options. OK, we'll have a look at a more than type of question. So Z is greater than A. Let's draw a picture of what that looks like. So there's the, the more than A giving us 0 0.201. We know it's on the right hand side because it has to be less than a half of the distribution. So phi of a will be 1 minus that, which gives us 0 0.799 and that we can now look up on our table. Now with this particular one, have a look at that one on your own table. You'll see that it doesn't give us the exact answer, but it's the closest one to it. So it doesn't give us exactly 0 0.799. Right, so next one, probability of uh, z being greater than a is 0.982. So let's draw a picture of that. Now the 0.982, that's more than a half of the graph. So it must look like this. Now we want to change that into the equivalent less than something um, so that we can read it off the tables. So we'll just turn that around and that would be minus a. So reading off the tables, minus a would have to be 2.08. So A would be minus 2.08. OK, next one. Probability that Z is less than A is 0.25. That's less than a half, so it's got to be that one there. Now that matches on the other side, being symmetrical, that it's more than minus A. So phi of minus A would then be equal to 0.75, so that you know those two add up to 1. We're doing 1 minus the 0.25. Look that up on the table, we get minus a is equal to 0.674, therefore a must be minus 0.674. Now this value is actually a special one. Uh, 0.75, if you look down at the bottom of your normal table, there's an area called critical values for the normal distribution, and those are values that come up often, and especially in applied questions or worded questions, 
where it's things like 75%, 90%, 99%, uh, those sorts of values. Those ones that come up often have been put into that quick lookup table at the bottom of the normal distribution so that you can find those values quickly and save yourself a little bit of time.